Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. My name is Rashad Lee, currently here at the city of Oakland because I interned up in the mayor office. I also work with the reentry specialists here. Then I also work with CETA, so I'm like pretty active within the city. Uh, but brings me here at this present time is we have a, a security meeting on how to defuse the situation with the Oscar Grant case and a lot of individuals who are going to be frustrated, full of anger and misdirections. So we just here trying to find out a positive solution for them. Kind of exploring empathy. How does this uh, relate? How does empathy relate to what's going on here? In a sense, it could you know, like be used in the same sense by like understanding like uh, everybody having a positive understanding of the same thing. Now once like I guess or, or hopefully the city here, the individuals cry of the community that's out there creating the chaos and like confusing and put their stuff in their shoes and understand like some of the challenges and hurdles that they're dealing with. And it's to me it's pretty much a chance for them to vent and then other people, such as politics and so forth, like how they own agenda and their own train of thought. But like always be wanting them to put themselves in the other person's shoes to see like how you, how you can help us and like what's best for us and what's good for us. Like some of the like riding and stuff isn't good, but at the same time, it's like it's an expression. But like empathy on this situation is like I really hope that the city and the state put themselves in the other individual schools because most of them are victims within their own set. Yes. So is there times when you've experienced that deep empathy? Uh, maybe a story of someone that offered empathy to you? Uh, yes, the uh, Qaddafi Foundation, the first response team, uh, someone that I also like network with a lot and volunteer my time like day in and night. She uh, helped me when my little brother was murdered. He was murdered in West Oakland like playing basketball, he fought someone, the guy he left came back with his friends and shot him like this, like for no reason, like uh, for nothing. I wish they would have fought me something, but I didn't. And like I took myself out, like uh, like I, when he left, like a lot of me left. And so I isolated myself from everyone and like my heart became an oxbox and people from the city reached out to me, the Qaddafi Foundation, and then they put me around people to vent and then, like to better myself, like better friends, better associate, and they let me like, like use my words and talk, tell my story to other people. Just like, and then by that, other people put themselves in my shoes, and I was able to put myself in their shoes. A lot of things that I do now with the Qaddafi Foundation, I go out with them, talk to families, uh, like, like, cause I know how I feel. Like sometimes when they get murdered or like have a loss like mine, it's like I don't think one is greater than the other, but some of them have reasons, some of them don't have reasons, and I try to talk to them and gain understanding, and allow them to gain understanding, and, you know, support them and let them know that they're not alone. Like, that's one thing. Within empathy, I think that people miss is the value of that sense of trust and letting the other person feel that, you know, like you're not alone. Like, when you turn and my back is, like, is your front. You know, when you turn the other way, my side is your side. And so, like just that, that strength of feeling the next one and understanding and becoming friends, like like best friends is like understanding. It's the keys to friendship and trust. And so empathy is like a really positive word. Like I really love that word a lot. Like I always loved it. Like sympathy and empathy, like sympathy, like feeling sorry. And like, you know, this is like a natural feeling, but like empathy is like a stronger, like, like, cause in feeling than just sympathy alone because now you have to go within take yourself out your body and place yourself in someone else's or notions and so like empathy is like a real strong word and i hope that that word can be like help our modern city come back to something like and because it's getting toward it's like slowly but shortly like uh, uh, uh what can we do to build a culture of empathy uh I, to me, like education, and like a lot of times I'm not really big on education. Like I graduated from uh, school, but I was incarcerated, and I haven't been going to get the, the education of like college degrees, but I have like, I guess, street degrees, and I just love learning. But and within learning, uh, I thought like, you know, if you spread the word, show people a difference, like, you know, like the good, the bad, the ugly, and show them things that they're blind to, and convert that into a way where they understand. This is like, 
let me think, like with the, our history in Oakland, take back to the Black Panthers. If half of the people out here knew that like the younger ones is killing for citizens things, or people that want to police the community. Back then, the, uh, the Panthers used to police the police, pull them up on charges, ask questions, and show that they care by questioning them and like some of their attributes into America. And so pretty much like this, like showing people the past, they present, and then they future. And hopefully they can put their stuff in each category and see like this is where we was before, this is where we at now, like, you know, and just built on some of our legacies that's already here. Because to me, personally, it's not nothing new up under the sun and ain't what you do is how it's done. And so like with that right there, it's like focus and put yourself back in certain places. You know what worked and you know what didn't work. And like, even if it didn't work, it make you stronger to know how to go around it or how to use it and be aware if you see someone else in that situation. So, like, yeah, empathy go a long way. And Oakland, like, the next mirror should, like, like stand on that song. Like, uh, like, give back to everyone, not just any, just, like, one crowd. I don't care what it is. Like, I'm not a racist individual. I'm not a cop hater or none of that. But, like, just show love to everyone. Like, you know, put themselves in everybody's shoes and have an open mind for much.